Hello everybody and be welcome to the Skyrim Mod Series episode 58 and we're starting here with the retexture of the Nightingale armor, the Nightingale Carbone armor from Counter Cruel and you see here this is a nice retexture with a bluish style of the original Nightingale armor and this white plates which I find very interesting. And I'm taking this new armor and I run directly to the forge because there we can smith a Dwarven Hyperion and a Regulator which lets us uh, kind of yeah, adjust it. You see that thing here? Badass, that's really badass. What I really like here is that um, the colors of the Nightingale armor and of this Dwarven Hyperion are fitting perfectly together. Look at this, oh my god. This looks really so badass. And what is this exactly? Well, we can use the regulator here to adjust the armor. Or it's not an armor, it's kind of a extra add-on. You can put it on the armor that you're wearing at the moment, like you can see here. Um, then I choose here maximum and you see this exoskeleton is used to make you faster and to increase your stamina. So this is pretty awesome. And that's not enough. You also get or you have an increased carry weight. Look at this. This is now the double speed overheat. I don't know if it even has negative effects because I didn't read anything about that. Maybe it should have because it's pretty OP right now. And uh, you can also improve this and then you get a little bit more armor to your normal armor. The flyable broomstick. So um, this is a broom that you can find or you can craft it, and this is pretty pretty awesome. You can use it to shoot lightning bolts, or you can drop it and then you can ride it, kind of like a horse, but uh, it's flying. <laughs> so uh, I reviewed this because a friend of the modder asked me to do it. Actually, I thought there would be enough videos on the page already. <laughs> I think it's almost ten. But well, um, also I think you guys already knew this, or know this, if you're a little bit looking at the Skyrim mod page, but it's actually pretty awesome. So I'm using it here together with the um, exoskelet. <laughs> Look at this badass compilation. Oh my god, I'm just, I should have taken the, or taken the, no, taken? Anyways, the Dwemer armor, that would have been pretty cool too. Now we come to the mod Marian's Pirate's Coast Solitude, what basically means that there is a pirate coast in Solitude, which is made by Marian. And this mod, I don't know why, I don't know why it's burning there below her feet. Madam, <laughs> you're on fire. No, but a uh, joke. Um, I don't know why, but this mod didn't got a lot of attention. So because of the... I'm sorry. Because of that, I'm going to make a review here about this. Gonna show you all the places. It's really a pirate coast, an unevil pirate coast, so it's kind of a town. Um, which you can access through this gate, this Dwemer gate portal elevator thing in front of Solitude. And this is really well made. I don't know why it didn't got any attention. So. When I visited the page, it had zero endorsements on the Skyrim Nexus, and I really don't get it because that's bullshit. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is a huge mod actually, and you can see here there's so many in it. You have the outer coast town, then you have this blacksmith area, and you see that here are so many people. Okay, they're all on fire, but that's just kind of a marker that this guys can be your followers. I really don't know why they're burning though. But anyways, um, what you can do, you can download a bad file in the optional files and you can put that in your Skyrim directory. And then you go into the city and you select an NPC and all these NPCs have, this is the meat bar, so this is the second place after the blacksmith. You simply um, select an NPC and you um, then type in in the console BAT uh, space and then friend and then this guy can be your follower. So it's a simple 
I think it's four lines of code that get executed with this bad file. You could also type it, type it in yourself. Um, that's easier for you. But um, there are all kind of followers in here. They have all their different um, yeah, abilities and their classes and so on. So this woman here was probably a two-handed guy, and they have the skills in their name. So I don't know the is named uh, what Al Alfred Ice Maid I don't know <laughs> okay anything uh, like that this is the wine bar so you see that it's it's really big it's it's I don't I don't get it I really don't get it why this didn't got the attention that it in my opinion deserves I need something I don't get it it's huge it's beautifully designed Look at this. The shelves are full. The shelves are full. <laughs> They're full with stuff with wine. It's not like there's a little room with some, you know, a bunch of things. All the waterfalls, it looks great. You see all the light in here. It's great. The nights look, I mean, that's of course the mod by me, which in, um, improves the night itself. The view is just... it's gorgeous. It's awesome. This is the coffee bar. Café bar? I don't know how you speak it in English actually. But um, you can see here it's also very big and it's everything in this pirate style on the ground. There's always water. You have this ground of, um, of wooden planks all the time. You see here that you have a lot of stuff that you can eat these guys here at at the sides of the room are kind of making the the, ca the coffee a uh, coffee it's coffee in English ah god <laughs> anyways you see they are kind of making that of course it's a lot it's RPG like but they make all the delicious food and the stuff to drink and so on and that's awesome this is the play rest house which is now kind of your house in all in this town and you see here you have two at the start and then you have here your area which is beautifully designed i really don't get it the more i look at it the more i don't get why this got no attention it's awesome it's really awesome maybe maybe the fire could get removed it didn't bother me but maybe it does bother bother other people um so with this thanks guys and i'll see you in the next episode like this video leave me a comment subscribe to my channel and have a nice day a lot of fun with your elder scrolls games bye